Hey, welcome back. Another cold day across the Treasure Valley thanks to a temperature inversion what's been hanging out for the last few days. Looks like we may finally start to weaken this thing over the next couple of days, though, as the storm comes through. Let's take a look at our forecast. Currently in Boise, it's 21 degrees, 19 in Mountain Home and Twin Falls. Ontario is a little warmer, checking in at 25 this hour. Up in the mountains, temperatures are about the same, 23 for McCall, 26 degrees in Stanley. Uh, taking a look across the region, you can see that warmer air is building in off the coast. You can see this lighter shade of blue turning green. This is warmer air pushing in from the Pacific Ocean, and it's going to slowly push its way in across the Intermountain West over the next few days. Boise, though, is trapped under an inversion. This warm air is going to pass right over us, not really making it down into the valley. So we're expecting temperatures to stay chilly. But for the most part, though, things are going to be uh, getting more active as the storm starts to slide down off the coast. Uh, we can see it right here on our satellite picture, pushing on down across Washington and bringing in some uh, rain showers as it does so. Uh, we are definitely going to be seeing uh, snow up in the mountains as this thing comes barreling through. And uh, we'll probably see some snow down in the Treasure Valley as well. So lots of exciting stuff happening. Uh, moving out just a little bit further, you can still kind of see a ridge of high pressure across the west as the storm kind of gets directed a little further to the north. But definitely we'll be uh, seeing a chance for precipitation here. All right, let's take a look now, see what's going on for the Treasure Valley. We're going to see snow coming in tomorrow, primarily in the afternoon. Uh, not looking for a whole lot of snow, but by Monday night, we can see as much as one to three inches across the Treasure Valley. That's not too shabby. And you notice temperatures coming up as well as the inversion starts to weaken a bit. 29 for Vail, 30 for Caldwell, meridian up to around 31. Up in the west, central mountains, where we currently have a winter weather advisory in effect, we're going to see a fair amount of snow as well, about one to three inches for most of the communities, but of course, higher up in elevation, up at the ski resorts, they're going to get much more, so this is great news. Further east, the south central mountains, uh, Custer County here, under a winter storm warning, looking at about one to three inches for Stanley, but of course much more up in the mountains and up over the passes. Down across the Magic Valley tomorrow, just some snow showers. We're not looking for any accumulation down here just yet, uh, but it will be warmer with temperatures getting up uh, right around the just below the freezing mark, I should say. All right, here's a look at our next seven days now. We're going to see that snow coming in Sunday afternoon and continuing through uh, Monday night. About one to three inches possible before all is said and done here in the valley. Continuing in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we'll see that inversion hanging around, but it won't be nearly as cold with temperatures in the low 30s. And then finally, Friday, I think the inversion is going to be mixed out as another storm comes through. This one will bring us a mix of rain and snow showers and then warmer weather for Saturday up to around 41 degrees. We wow. can finally say adios to that inversion. Oh, that, that 41 on Saturday looks nice. I agree. I can't <laughs> wait. Although I'm looking forward to the snow as well. I'm planning to go skiing this week. Oh, how fun. Once or more than once? As much as I can. <laughs> awesome. We'll have fun up there. I will. Thanks, Adam. It's a day.